Today I'm going to show you how to speed up the recovery of chronic tendonitis and other soft tissue injuries. What's going on? How you doing everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some, some well known, some not well known techniques that you can use to recover from chronic soft tissue injuries faster. Well, things like uh, tendinosis, tendinitis, and other just lingering things that you have going on. This sh should help with all of them. Before I move into this video though, I wanna say that I'm not a medical professional. I'm a holistic personal trainer. Everything that I share with you in today's video is for educational purposes only. This is not medical advice. Always make sure to consult with your physician before doing anything that you hear me talk about in my videos. Okay, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's get started. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you've seen at least some of my other videos and that you're already taking care of some of the basic causes of soft tissue injuries, um, especially chronic ones, like improving your posture, mobilizing your joints, foam rolling tight muscles, um, you know, all the stuff that I talk about in my videos, corrective exercise, I'm gonna be assuming that you're already doing these things or you're starting to do them now, and that's good, that's a foundation. But sometimes, you know, life happens, you could have been working on these things all along and still develop tendonitis in your wrist like I did recently. You know, you just have to address it when it comes up, and that's what I'm gonna teach you how to do today. Okay, so the first thing that you can do as just a you know average person out there with access to you know things that pretty much we all have access to if you have access to the internet is contrast therapy okay and what this means is you're basically going to alternate hot and cold on the you know the injured tissue and you're gonna do this as frequently as possible okay um, and I would recommend doing about two parts cold to one part hot and when I say hot, I don't really mean hot, I mean warm, okay? Um, and basically, here's how this works. You can do this with cold or warm water. You can do this with an ice pack and a heat pack. It doesn't really matter. It's just the temperature variation that we want to take advantage of. Basically, the reason why you know tendonitis can be such a annoying injury to deal with is tendons aren't necessarily the most vascular you know places in the body. Vascularization means that there's like blood flow coming to the area. Okay, so this is commonly why joint injuries you know can last for so long because they're not very vascular and there's not a lot of blood that can get into that area to help heal those tissues okay um, that being said there are things that you can do to actually improve blood flow contrast therapy is one of them okay so when you put cold on an area area the cold pack or the cold water acts as what's called a vaso uh, uh, constrictor okay and basically what that means is it's gonna shut down blood flow to that area temporarily or it's gonna reduce blood flow going to that area okay and when you put a heat pack or warm water on the area what that's gonna do is it's going to, to act as a vasodilator which means it's going to increase blood flow to that area okay so essentially when you alternate cold warm cold warm cold warm and you do this over and over again on let's say your knee your patella tendon what you're doing is you're shutting blood flow down to that area temporarily and then rushing new blood in shutting it down rushing new blood in shutting it down rushing new blood in all this new blood that you're rushing in there in like a flood is carrying with it things called fibroblasts which are basically going to secrete new tissue and help that area regenerate and heal itself okay so the more blood flow you can get into an area like this the the better it is okay and i wouldn't recommend heating with an acute injury but if this is something that's like chronic that you've experienced for a long time like tendonitis of the patella tendon which is very common then this is a good strategy the second thing that you can do to speed up your recovery is pay attention to your nutrition okay so you know one thing that you can do is make sure that you're not protein deficient okay protein deficiency has actually been shown to reduce collagen production in the body okay and collagen is the main component of connective tissue tendons um, you know fascia stuff like that and this is what you need to be you know supporting your body and healing if you're injured okay and uh, basically, like I said, studies have shown that protein deficiency actually lowers your body's ability to make collagen and subsequently slows down your healing of whatever soft tissue injury you're trying to recover from. So step one in, with regards to nutrition is make sure you're not protein deficient. Now, there are a couple specific nutrients that you might want to consider adding into your diet um, to while making sure that you're not protein deficient um, that will also help. 
One thing that you can do is take bovine collagen, okay, so like grass-fed uh, collagen protein powder, um, add that to your smoothies or coffee or something like that. Basically, you're taking in bovine collagen, which is a type of, of collagen from a cow. And the amino acids that compose that are very similar or the same of the as the amino acids that are going to compose your own collagen. So you're giving your body basically the raw building blocks that it needs for the collagen repair. In conjunction with that, you might also want to consider supplementing with the following. Vitamins A, B, C, and D, copper, iron, magnesium, manganese, calcium, and zinc. All of those nutrients are important in tissue repair and healing. Um, Precision Nutrition, which is an education company on nutrition for health and wellness professionals, they're very reputable. Um, they basically have a really good article about this where they explain those specific nutrients, how the dosing for them, um, whether or not you should consider supplementing with them, and all sorts of information that you want on those specific nutrients um, for injury recovery. So if you want to actually check out that article on their website, I've put it in the description down below so you can look at that. The third thing you could do to speed up your recovery is something called red light therapy, specifically something that operates around 660 nanometers, which is basically the, sh the color of the light. Now I've talked about this in my top three benefits of red light therapy video, which you can check out in the description down below as well. But essentially, um, red light therapy has been shown to improve collagen production, okay? And as you have you know, already learned in today's video, collagen production is something that you wanna be supporting when your body is healing from a soft tissue injury because collagen is the main component of pretty much all of the connective tissue in our body. And it's the connective tissue, the tendons, um, and you know ligaments things like that that you have probably injured which is why you're watching this video so anything you can do to support that um, is going to help you out and red light therapy has been shown to actually improve collagen production okay now i do want to say that using red, a red light therapy device that you can buy like online or something like that is going to be most effective if what you're trying to expedite the recovery of is superficial Okay, so if it's close to the surface of the skin, because red light is not gonna penetrate too deeply in the skin with like a, just a standard light that you can buy online. Um, but things like a patella tendon, um, some of the you know, rotator cuff tendons, um, the tendons in your wrist, these are all very accessible with that red light and shining it in there for like 10 minutes a day or more if it's a powerful light can actually help to stimulate collagen production in there, get more circulation in there, which as you learn from number one is gonna be beneficial as well. These are all things that are just gonna help you out. If it's deeper in your joint, you might need to get a red light laser, which you oftentimes can't buy unless you're a physician, um, but you can get the, uh, like a big red light that operates at the right wave length you can use juve that's the company that i use i use i'll put their affiliate link down below um, check out that you know and also check out the benefits of red light therapy i don't want to go too deep into it now since i've already made a whole video on it but it is something that you can use as a tool in your arsenal to help expedite your recovery process all right so that was three things but i do want to share with you a fourth thing okay as a kind of a bonus and basically what this is is prolotherapy injections in a nutshell what a prolotherapy injection is it's a it's an injection right into into the injured tissue that a doctor would perform um, what so if your knee patella tendon is give, it has tendonitis you would get the in, tendon itself injected with this solution they would inject the tendon and the area around it the solution is basically just saline which is salt water and dextrose which is sugar what this injection will do is it'll initiate what's called acute inflammation which is your body's healing response this, this is when your body sends fibroblasts into the area and secretes new tissue it will make it hurt a little bit more um, because it's going to be going through more of this acute inflammation, but it's going to help the area, you know, heal and recover faster, um, especially if this is something that's chronic that you have had going on for a long time. This is an excellent treatment. I'm going to let you look into that yourself. Um, there, you know, I've had this done many, many times myself all over my body when I was kind of you know, fixing myself and all the injuries that I had. And I've also had a lot of clients get this done over the years. Everyone with great success, there's very little chance of injury, uh, you know, associated with this, um, or side effects, I meant to say. 
Um, risk of infection, which you would get for like pretty much any type of injection is there, but you know, that's a minuscule risk in my mind. Um, look into this, okay? This is a powerful treatment. You can find doctors of all types offering this. Some states, chiropractors can do it, but in most states, I believe that you have to be a medical doctor or a doctor of osteopathy to do it. Um, but yeah, check it out. Um, if you do find a physician in your area doing this, make sure that they have good testimonials and they're getting good results because the efficacy of this treatment really comes down to the accuracy of the physician that's actually injecting you. That's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this. You found this valuable. Um, if you wanted to look into any of those studies a little bit more, then I put them all in the description down below. So you just open that up and uh, check those things out. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do, th and do that. Hit that red subscribe button down there, right next to Gorillas and Fitness. Also like this video by clicking that like button, uh, the thumbs up. That really helps me um, with my YouTube channel here and helps get these videos out to more people. And if you want to see me make a video on anything specific, then leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you like this video, then you're really going to like my free ebook, Holistic Health Hacks. Basically, in this ebook, I teach you all sorts of weird esoteric stuff. I do talk about prolotherapy in there, but I talk more about light therapy, um, electromagnetism, uh, circadian rhythm optimization, basically a bunch of weird things that you can do to optimize your health and well-being that are not well known at all, um, how to decode your genetics, um, do a bunch of stuff. Okay, so it's a really cool guide. I put it together for you. It's free. It's on my website. All you have to do to get it is open the description down below, click the link down there or the first link in the comment section. That will take you to my website. I'll ask you for your email. As soon as you enter in your email, I will send you my book within five minutes. If you're looking for another place to get holistic health hacks, you can click this. That'll take you to the same page on my website along with the rest of those links. And again, if you're looking for another place to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you may click this right here. If you want to see more videos like this one, click this over here. And other than that, I will see you next time.